Hello everyone, we're back with another top 10 for the year as the year comes to a close. We already filmed the movies, check that out, and we're also doing books. So for video games this time... Does anyone time, know what that is? Movies. What, are you doing the movie camera? Yeah, movie camera. New movie camera. We're old. Um, so for video games, and I actually played a good deal of games this year because I played a lot of... I think you did too because you played a lot of Genesis games. I yeah, played but a lot I didn't, of PC I played Engine. more last year. I think we like experienced more media last year than yeah. this year. Yeah, this, this year, year was very... I think this year we were busier. Yes, there was a lot, lot going on with yeah. work and families and yeah, this all year that, we were busier. that but crap. Played a lot of like shorter games. We had like 16 or 17 games this year because of shorter ones. Do our top 10. My number 10. I'm very excited to have a Wii U game in my top 10 for yeah, the year. Yeah, Wii U. But Yoshi's Woolly World. Especially because there's so few Wii U games that are not on the Switch. That is true. Why? Is I don't that? get why this one wasn't ported I over. I want to play this game. Because Crafted World is on there. But I but can't play this game. Yeah, no, you know you why? You won't play the Wii U. Because I'm not going to play that but game. But I love it. It really looks like fabric. Like, gra really graphically, cool. this is one of the most impressive games I've ever seen. Just in terms of, like, it looks like what it's trying to be. Like, it looks like everything's made of actual, like, fabric. Like, it was wool. Like, it's, it's, it's amazing. I love the way it plays. I love on... Un, you know, unwinding the yarn and things like that it is, is amazing. This was one of my favorite games of the year, number 10. You yeah. Know, so, I love it. And for a platformer, I'm more of an RPG guy. Platformers usually don't go this high for me. As you age, I feel like... I'm getting more into some more platformers, and, but... And Nintendo. Yeah, like... You're much the more last, Nintendo. Like, but the only the last, like, what, five, six years or whatever? Since you've had the Switch. Yeah, but before then... You're a Sony guy. Yeah. You are a Sony guy. But guess who's the Sony guy now? Yeah, you're... Sony Hardcore, but yeah, number 10, Yoshi's Woolly World. Your number 10? My number 10 is actually a Switch game. Mm -hmm. I actually have Switch on here, which is really weird. Well, now that you have your Switch Lite, you play a Switch more. Honestly, since we got the Switch Lite... You play a lot more. I love my purple yeah. Switch. This is Yoko's Island Adventure, or Island Express. I don't even know. It's <laughs> um, level or team 17, which is the Banjo-Kazooie peoples. And this is really interesting. This is a pinball platformer mm -hmm. game. Yeah, I don't, I don't want you to play it. It's like puzzly platformer. Really, really interesting, and I, I had a really good time playing this. I haven't fully beaten it, but it's a really nice, like, pick up and yeah, play in short just bursts. play a little bit, but really, really interesting game. My number nine, um, <laughs> Persona 5, finally played that on PS4, and I really like this game. I talked about it before a little more in depth. I, I didn't like it anywhere near as much as 3 and 4, uh, and it definitely overstayed its welcome Persona. for me. It was overly long. But overall, you know, again, I talked about this before in length, but I'll just say I really, really enjoyed it, just not as much as some of the older titles. Persona sucks. Man does not like Persona. But I really liked it. But number nine, Persona. <laughs> My number nine is a much better game. My number nine is from First Press Games, which is a great company, and you should totally check them out. because It's in Germany, right? It's a German company, and this is the regular edition of it. It comes with this amazing slipcover... We did an unboxing of this. I love this company because they do such great releases. It's called Castle of Heart. Uh, this is a platformer-ish. It looks kind of like ghouls and ghosts to me. Yeah, but it's, with it's a... very, like, it feels like a PC game. Yeah. This feels like a PC game. And you play as a knight who's turned into stone and he's slowly falling apart. Um, and it was, it's just, it's a really fun game. And I, I really enjoy it on the Switch. I don't think I'd like it as much on the PlayStation. This mm. is definitely a... Feels, yeah, with your a Switch, Switch Lite game. More portable. Look how pretty this is. Look how pretty. Yeah, my number eight is Tales of Berseria. Mm -hmm. a really good game. Definitely, I enjoyed it more than Persona Five. I know a lot of big Persona Five fans are like, "What the heck?" But I, I like the the combat more. I really like Tales games in general. And this was great, except one big thing was missing from this. The big focus of this is pirates, and you can't sail around the world in your pirate ship. It's just like a fast travel mechanic. That was one huge missed opportunity, I thought. But otherwise, I really enjoyed it. As far as the storytelling, it's more like a it's like a top three or four for the series for me. Really high. Really enjoyed it. I don't like Tales. Yeah, no, you don't like Tales at all. Not, not a fan. Yeah. My number eight is The Order 1886. I was surprised that was that high for you. I, there are things I really, really like about this, and there's things I really, really don't. Mm -hmm. I, I'm really sad that this isn't going to be like a series, because I feel like they could have fixed most of this stuff. I don't like the fact that it became like a shooter. Mm -hmm. Not a fan. But I really like the story and where they could have gone with this. Like, it's more of just the potential of it. Yeah. And there are some things that were really fun about it and really unique and really interesting. And I'm just really sad by it. But 
it was a I think it was an overall fun game. If I paid the full price for it, I probably yes, wouldn't have it on this paid, list. Like, I paid bucks. like nothing for this. Yeah. So good game. Yeah. Uh, my number seven is the Doom Classic Collection for the Switch. What's that? I've never heard of I that absolutely before. Absolutely love it. A more Doom. Doom one and two. Doom three I don't really like, it's cool, it's included, whatever. But playing Doom one and two, I haven't played those in years. It was a lot of fun. I love being able to play it on the go in really good quality on the Switch. Because I'd actually played Doom on the Game Boy Advance way back when. Because Doom is on everything. So, yeah. Doom's on what your is Doom, Doom not on? It's on your toaster. Uh, but <laughs> Probably could be. Playing Doom, and especially Doom 2 on the go on the Switch has just been amazing. And play, I put it up on the projector and play with the Pro Controller and stuff like that. and just It's so much fun. And it's like the uh, that Yoko game, whatever they, they had, where you can be a great pick up and play for five minutes type thing. That's what I love about the so, Switch. You can just pick it up. A lot of games like that, yeah. So I've been having fun, like, on, like, I've played a lot of it, and I'm still, like, going to be playing a lot. It's one of those that I'm not going to put down forever. It's kind of what you pick up every once in a while and play a couple levels. Really fun, so I love having that. So my number seven is also a game from the First Press Games. This is something that I've waited for years to play, and I was so excited when I found out it was going to be physical. It is Mulaka. I, I love this game. This is great. The soundtrack is amazing on this game. It's super fun, and I'm just, I'm so blown away that I actually have this physically, mm -hmm. because I did not think I was ever going to have this, and I was very upset, and I love it. I just love indie games so much, and I look want, how pretty. I want you to play a good deal of that, because that was fascinating. Like, it's really, really cool, mm -hmm. and it's just, it's really nice to, like, be able to have games from different cultures, from different areas yeah. of the world, and there's no restrictions because mm -hmm. everything is region free now which is so nice yep. and i love it number six is a gift you got me it was my last birthday wasn't it i believe so yeah uh catherine full body for the switch and that's this weird is it's weird really good puzzle game and more so than anything i did not realize how much story there was in catherine i thought it was going to be more focused on the puzzle elements I loved the story elements in this. I thought that they were great. I loved like Rin, who is not in the original version, but uh, it just amazing. This was a lot of fun. Really, really good. And pick up this newer version if you are uncertain about the puzzle elements, if you're really not good at puzzle games. There are even easy difficulty levels in here, and there's even, I think, there's a um, auto mode where it'll do the puzzles for you. They can turn on and off. I think you can turn it on and off during the level even. So like if you're having trouble or so, so you're if you just want to, so if if because well some people like this has a, a really good anime like st almost visual novel type story part to it and then the puzzle stuff. So even if the puzzle stuff you find intimidating, don't be intimidated by it because in this version you don't, don't have to. Don't. You don't have to. But yeah, this was great. I absolutely loved this game. This was fantastic. You didn't even want to play that game. Yeah, played it on Switch and loved it. This is exciting because I have my own pile of games because all these other. Yeah, the movies and the books videos. and everything, we have to go back and forth because we have a lot of because shared ones. Copying games, me. not at all. Stop copying me. But games, we have nothing the same. Mm -hmm. This is nothing, nothing that you would ever play. No, num not, yeah. My number six... That doesn't interest me at all. ...is... Oh, this is, like, the best game... Or you want after that. No, I see it. <laughs> this is the best game. Hoa, or Hua, which means flower. This Don't is call a, me Hua. You are a special man. <laughs> This is a Korean game, I believe, and it's it's the most relaxing thing ever. There's no violence. There's no like everything is just wonderful. It sounds like like Ghibli like score. It's just really beautiful hand drawn and it's just it just makes you happy. This is a really really good game. And if you're really stressed out with life and work, this is a good game. This is a fun good, game. Good to chill. It's not super long. And it's not, it's not stressful at all. It's going to relax you. So not for you. Yeah. <laughs> Just for me. And this was a big surprise because you... This is my game. You bought this, this game, is my game for you this and you hadn't me. played it yet. It was sitting on the shelf. I wanted to play a shorter game. You wanted to play it because it's Italian. Yeah. Because it was developed by Italian people. And yeah. you were like, I want this. Yeah. So close to the sun, I loved this game. And I watching what so, I watched, I don't think I can play it. I don't think you'll like it. You bought this for you, and I don't think you'd like it. And I played it twice in a row. I beat it twice you in did. a row. And I got, when like... When Stefan really likes something, he plays it immediately again. Twice, yeah, usually. Usually he'll play it yeah. immediately again. I absolutely... I love this time period. I love the art style. I love things with, That's what like, I, Tesla. I wanted to, and, like, yeah. 
Yeah. And just everything about it is right up my alley. It's very intriguing. I like like this kind of adventure game mm -hmm. um, with like, puzzles and that type. It, it's really good. It reminds me a lot of stuff I used to play on like PC in the it, 90s. Well, that's and, what I thought but, it was going to be. Um, I, I loved it. Uh, they could buy a storm in, in a teacup, and I still want to get like Nero is another one that did it before mm -hmm. this. Anything, I'm interested in anything they do now because I... I I, I kind of want to play a third time. Like it was really good. I loved this game. I think so much more than a lot of other people did. It indie got, games. It got kind of like middle of the road reviews, and like I freaking loved that but game. But that's the problem with indie games. That I, th I think it's just like they are doomed to fail mm. because the big companies don't want them to even get any publicity. So like no no no, don't even look at it. Don't even look at yeah, it. Yeah, that was one of my favorites. Surprise hit. So this is something. No, I can never. I. <laughs> I can never play, get, make it through that. So. I, I look at a lot of indie games, as you know, mm -hmm. and this one intrigued me, and I had never heard of anything like this before. I didn't know what a tome went, meant. Did you know what a tome meant? You knew I what know what they were. Meant. I wasn't going to get into this. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was a visual novel. I didn't realize it was a dating simulator. I was very surprised. I also didn't understand, like, how to play this, and it did not tell me how to play this. So this was a bit. This was a bit confusing. I did things a little bit. I had switch wrong. between all the saves and all the different endings. There and, are yeah. 99 save files for this. You can save 99 unique times in this, which is insane to me. This is Cafe Enchante, and I am going to say it the way <laughs> I want to say it. Uh, this is a an Atome game. This is a dating simulator. You can pick these dudes, except for the one dude that you want to pick. You have to beat all the other guys first, not beat them. I guess be with them? I don't know. You're beating guys on the You beat the guys. You're beating guys. I don't know. I don't know. I would I would probably never play another one of these games. It was so but long. This was it, this was very You were playing long. that forever. This was very You were downstairs. This is like 40 hours. You were downstairs on the couch for hours while I was like, There's there's too much dialogue in this. And that's how they all are, which I I this was very unique to me, and I know it's not unique to most people, but I've never experienced anything like this. Not that this was like, I don't know. I don't even know. But the story was awesome. The story was really good. But I don't, I, I don't think I could ever play another one of these. Let me know if you've played any of these. Have you played any of these? No. Do they have like female? Well, yeah, I'm sure there's like harem one. They have, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't yeah. know. But interesting. I know, I don't know. I didn't know what it was. Mm -hmm. My number four for the Nintendo Wii. I'm going with one Wii U game and one Wii game on this list. Number four, Sakura Wars So Long, My Love. Wow, and it's amazing, it's amazing you got this. Amazing. You had to order this twice. Yeah, this was an odyssey. Someone tried to like scam me from someone in Canada. <gasps> uh, but they Canada? got their account shut down and everything. How could Canada but, do that? Yeah, finally got a copy of this. The last game I wanted for the Nintendo Wii. Paid way more <laughs> It would typically play for a video game, but finally got a copy of it. Really like this series. It's one of only two that's available natively in English. What? So very exciting. It has a New York setting, something a little different. Gameplay-wise, it's a little different from like the Dreamcast games that I played. Uh, but yeah, I absolutely love this. It was amazing. It was well worth the you know time and money spent and the experience. I'm glad I got it. Game I'm going to play again for sure. Um, brilliant. I, I really enjoy okay. this series. This was a great entry. Blech. Oh, you're going to cause a, some fit. This so just like my movie collection, I, I live to create controversy. Yeah. This, and I don't care what you say. I do okay? agree with what I you say. I don't care what you say. Because most of the people... It, and I will defend yeah. this. Okay, yeah. I will defend this. Yeah, I do agree with what you're going to say, And actually. I think part of me likes this more just because everyone hates yeah. it. And I do not <laughs> play it, but I watch Amanda play a really big portion of this. Mm -hmm. And before you bring it up, I have to say, I think it's just popular to hate. From what I I've seen, why that's I a thing. don't why think. Is that a thing? I don't know. I think most people that hate it never even tried it or just play the demo or something. I think because just from watching you play it, it looked half decent. Look. I think also people think like just because it says Square Enix on it that it's a triple A game and that he got like bajillions of dollars to mm -hmm. make this and like unlimited time and, and funds and that is not the case. Mm -hmm. So you all need to stop, okay? So bring it up. <laughs> This is Balan Wonderworld. Mm. Shh. It's a number four earlier. Shh. You can tell me you hate it. It's okay. I liked this game a lot. This was actually a really fun game. I beat this game. So fair. This was this was fun. I really enjoyed it. It was. There were problems. There were a couple problems. Not as many as everybody says, mm -hmm. but there were a couple. But this was a really fun game. This was just like a delightful time. It reminded me of an older time. 
Like it was just a really pretty N64 game and I liked it. So, mmm. Yeah. Yeah, and I said, I watched you play a good portion of that and it looked like an okay platform. It didn't look like anything super amazing, but it didn't look terrible. No, it was fun. It just looked, yeah, middle of the road. It was really fun. Yeah, middle of the road. And you all need to stop, so. Yeah. Uh, my number three is also a Sakura Wars game. The newer one for the PS4. Oh, man, I really hope we either get a sequel to this. Nobody or else played that. What I want even more would be if they remade like three. You know, Paris is Burning with this engine. Like nobody oh. in America played this, but you. I don't think it sold well. Like, I don't think it sold. Oh man, I really loved this. They did. Uh, I and it's weird because going into it, I thought I was going to prefer the older ones are all more strategy RPG. And this is more um, action, and the transition was really smooth. I, I loved it, and there's so much they could build on with this. This was such a good game that a sequel or remake of one of the old ones could go beyond this and just be incredible. I loved this game. I don't this was love awesome. how when I go up to the room, <laughs> it's a lot of them where we have the PS4. Yeah, and I can the see light. the controller, and it has different color. The P yeah. PlayStation 4 controller has different colors yeah. on the the back mm -hmm. of it. And all I ever see when I come up the stairs usually, is pink. They're usually pink. Is pink. They're usually pink. Everything he plays is pink. <laughs> Everything is pink. But yes, I uh, love this game. Ugh. I love running like the theater and everything, and I love the, this. This has some dating sim type elements in it, like from your Tommy type game. Game and uh, fantastic. I uh, and Max. I love Max. <laughs> Steampunk Max. Amazing. Number number three. Number three for me is a work of art, unlike that. That is beautiful. This actually. is a work of art. I, I, okay, I, I, this might, is, I might play that. This is not very long. Yeah. Um, and this is just, I'm so happy I got this. I saw this on the Vita, mm -hmm. I think it was originally. Yeah. And I was like, wow, but I'm never going to play it because it's on the Vita and I don't really care. But I finally got it. This is a little bit more pricey, but we got it. It is The Liar Princess and the Blind Prince. So beautiful so wonderful this is like storybook it is a work of art and it is just it's it's gorgeous there's nothing else you can say i mean look look it up it's so pretty and i just i love it so much it's so pretty i enjoyed watching you play it because it was one that i didn't want to see because i'm curious it was like i wanted to see the story unfold because i was mm -hmm. actually invested in it just yeah. from watching you it really yeah, it, is a yeah, living really, storybook. really pretty and it is it's a storybook mm -hmm. and it's it, i love I love the way it's hand drawn. I love the music. I love the voice acting, which I didn't think I was gonna like as much. But I think the fact that it's in another language is even better, because it, it just it makes it seem more mm -hmm. authentic. And I just I love this, and I love the take on it. It was just, it was really good. Yeah, really really good. My number two, which was almost my number one, it was it was fighting. I had to make a choice. You you know you didn't I want was this like, game either. I was I was. Well, I have to explain, then I have to explain a little bit more about, like, why and things like that. But, okay, so my number two, which was almost my number one, it's virtually a tie. My number two is Yakuza 0. Holy crap, I just finished this yesterday. I loved this. I was so invested in the storyline. Again, all the, all the melodrama, all the action. This is uh, a just, soap oh, opera for boys. It's a violent soap opera. This is just a, a really violent, Yakuza violent soap, opera. soap opera. I love this so much. And, okay, so... I played Yakuza 1 and 2 about like a decade ago on the PS2 and never played them again. And that was it. And the series just kept getting more and more entries constantly. And I was like, this is too much to get back into. And I never wanted to. And then eventually, I think, did you, you got me this I thing. got you that. And you got me zero. And you were like, no. I was like, I don't know. Because like, no, it's just too much to get into. But since they officially finished Kiryu's story with six. Now it's like, and now for the first time you can get them all on the one system. Because before a while it was like you had to have PS2 and the PS3 and the PS4, but now they are all on the PS4, whether collections or remakes or whatever, and you can get them all. And this Gotta wasn't just all. an amazing experience, but it reminded me how much I really liked those first two, because I think in a weird way I almost forgot how much I enjoyed playing them, because I played them once a decade ago. So even when I did my video about like a top 100 games, I think they would be higher now than when I made that video. Well. Just because I didn't like, you know, I, I didn't play them so long, really think about them. And this reinvigorated my love of that series. Invigoron. Yes, yeah, 
<laughs> the berries. Uh, but yeah, and it was great to start again with this because now yeah, I'm going to start with like the remake of one and the remake of two and just go in chronological order and replay them. That's what I'm playing the next year. Next year I'm playing through all the Yakuza games. I'm super invested and excited You're after playing welcome. that. You're welcome. And I played that for so long. <laughs> Well, and you're going to play it again. I'm going to play more because there's like the sandbox mode where I can go do anything I didn't finish. and Yeah, but I did the real estate stuff and I had to finish more of the cabaret club. And you collected the ladies? Have you yeah, collected, collected all the I ladies? I collected all the lady cards. Did you get yeah, all of them? Yeah, I got all the my auto cards. Yeah, that was fun. I have my, my little radar, my lady alarm. i run around the map. It's beautiful. I loved that game. It was almost my number one. I mean, you see what my number one is. That's like a big thing to say. So, so this one's just like it. <laughs> this is just like it. <laughs> This Amanda's number two. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I'm so excited. And I played this the very beginning of last year. I yes. think this is one of the yeah, first, first things I yeah. played. Your number and one's funnier to me. I, I loved this game. This was amazing. I'm, I'm almost angry at it that I never played it on the Game Boy. I think Game Boy Advance. I think it was. It was on, Game Boy Color, wasn't it? Game Boy Color. I don't know. This is Shantae, Half Genie Hero. Oh my gosh, this is like. Such an amazing game. Now you want I want all the Shantae's. I, I do want all the Shantae's. I actually, my first PS5 game will be coming from Limited Run, mm -hmm. and it's the Pirate Curse one, which is super expensive on PS4, mm -hmm. but at least I'll be able to play it. So that's our going to be our first PS5 game. But this is such a great series. I love everything about it. The soundtrack is amazing. You you heard some of that. Mm, yeah. Fantastic. And well, she does the spell. She like moves her hips to the rhythm of the music and things, and it's all very... like. I just, I love this. This is such a great great game and I can't wait to play the rest of them. Um, I do have another one on PS4. Yes. So yeah. I probably will be playing that next year. Yeah, you'll probably see that series uh, pop up the next couple of years. So much fun. Such a fun game. My number one, it's almost like a cheat though because just a remaster yeah, with voice acting added to a game that's like in my top 25 of all time. <laughs> but, but this version. This no. version, the remaster of SMT3 Nocturne the PS2 version is in my top 25 like video games ever, so I knew when playing this, like if I include this on this list, it's going to be number one. So uh, this this is one of the few games that I'll give a 10 out of 10. It is the perfect dungeon crawler. Like uh, very few games come close to it in matching the sense of environment and tone and style. It's just amazing. So yeah, my number one for the year. My number one is just as serious. <laughs> Stop. My number one is just as serious. You genuinely, I knew this was your number one before you picked it because I saw the joy in your eyes and the like the giggles coming from the room this while you played this. This was a bad year, okay? And this and brought this, you happiness. This brought me so much happiness. I platinumed this game. Yeah. Just so you know. You're excited for the expansion? I am and, so yeah. excited. Like, you need to tell me if you've played this game because I need someone to talk to because <laughs> nobody else has played this game. But apparently a lot of people have. This is Bug Snacks. <laughs> Don't laugh. Don't laugh. This is a beautiful <laughs> work of art. This game is so much fun. This is like the perfect game for COVID times because COVID times are the end of times. And <laughs> you just need something happy and wonderful. And they're actually... And you, you've seen part of it, but the mm -hmm. story is really good. I know, I know it seems stupid, but the story is really good in this. It's very, this is not for children. I know it says it's for children. This is not for children. This is adult. And I was really nervous when I got this. Because, because you get a coloring book. Because they gave you stickers, stickers. And then they gave you a coloring sheet. From like a restaurant. Yeah. It's like like a, it has like a coloring sheet on one side and then it has like activities maze, on the yeah. other side. And I was like, oh no. Oh no. What have <laughs> I, I done? Order a child's and <laughs> I should tell you, I pre-ordered this like over a year ago. Whatever you, yeah, whatever you could pre-order it. Yeah. yeah. Like I saw this and I was like, wow. I'm gonna get this and it wasn't expensive mm -hmm. but I pre-ordered this and it kept getting delayed and I was like I'm never gonna get this and then one day it just it just came and I was so excited and this is just so much fun <laughs> this is so much fun and I love this and if you've played this please let me know or buy it buy it for me <laughs> and play it so we can talk about it but yeah. I love this yeah you had you're so never much fun. gonna play it but no, this is that was so like much fun. my Yakuza zero for the year the thing that just yeah. brought you joy and just was so much just fun yeah. as Marie Kondo says spark joy so spark joy, sparks yeah, sparks so joy. Much joy. Goro sparks much joy I love Goro <laughs> I love him but I love this more mm -hmm. this is the best 
So let us know what games you played this year. Yes. If you've absolutely. played any of these games before, did you like them? Mm -hmm. Did you hate them? Are you insulted by what we picked? Mm -hmm. What other games should we play and if you're for a big, next year? If you're a big Yakuza fan, let me know what your favorite game in the series is below, because I'm excited to see, because I'm playing through, you know, all of them this, over the next, all like, probably six, seven months, but we'll see how long it takes me. Uh, but yes, very, very excited to get started with that. Those are our favorite games for the year.